already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past we'll talk about the present time coming up for the first week of august we'll go over the challenge and see what that's going to be then we'll move on over and take a look and see what the outcome is so virgo in the recent past we got the three of swords and it's paired with the three of pentacles now the three of swords it's showing that there's an element of sorrow that's undeniable but just know what's on the other side of the sorrow can be in the, it can be understanding and joy. So in the recent past, you would have needed to allow yourself to fully experience any sadness that came up just so that you could move past it. Now, this card can also point to maybe some deep emotional issues that need to be addressed before you could have moved on. If you try to deny any pain that wouldn't make if you deny any pain, it would not make it go away. So, just know that uh, you would have needed to allow yourself to experience, experience any pain that came up in the recent past. But, make sure you do not wallow in it. You do not and should not wallow in grief or sorrow for long periods of time. However, you're the only one who can decide how long is long enough and others, they will not be able to do that for you. Now, this Three of Swords is with the Three of Pentacles, which is a very positive card in the tarot, especially when it comes to work or career questions. Because when you hear the word Pentacles in the tarot, that's money, cash, coins, finance, it means that you're doing well. The Three of Pentacles, it tells you that the people around you, they appreciate you and your efforts. And they also notice the quality of work you do, even if you don't get a paycheck. The three, it tells you to keep doing what you're doing because you're on track. Although there could be some room for improvement, but at this time in the recent past or at that time, you would not have needed to scrap something and then start again. So basically, with these two cards paired together for your recent past, keep in mind the recent past could have been a week ago. It could have been a month ago, three months or six months. It could have been more. Three of Swords and Three of Pentacles, it's basically saying that you, showing that maybe you severed ties with someone. Or it could have been someone distanced themselves from you. Or maybe you from them. Um, someone could have started to become closed off. Maybe there was a rejection. And It caused a lot of sadness here with the Three of Swords. Some sorrow, heartbreak, pain. Um, yeah, so a lot of um, maybe shutting each other out. Yeah, so there was um, heartbreak here. And you are probably in a really good relationship because the Three of Pentacles, it's about teamwork, collaboration, skill, quality. So it felt like it was really good, but then someone started to close themselves off. Or it's, there was severed ties. And it caused a lot of heartbreak and sadness and sorrow and maybe even depression. Yeah, it was good. Three of Pentacles is all about benefits. This this person that you were dealing with, they caught they could have offered great benefits. They could have had a lot to offer. Because the Three of Pentacles is a, is about some benefits offering, having a lot to offer. But it looks like with the Three of Swords, it, 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 it caused a lot of pain, disconnection, a lot of pain with Three of Swords. So that's a recent past. Now let's move on over and let's take a look and see what's going on with the present time coming up in August. First week of August, we got Temperance and it's with the Eight of Swords. Now Temperance Although all your relationships, they're likely to be going quite well, 
You may need to look at any deeper personal issues and see if or how they're standing in your way. And if they are, how to work through them and integrate them because the ideal is to do what it takes to find balance in yourself and in your relationships. Also with your goals and aspirations. Now, temperance is paired with the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords, it could it's showing that you could be holding yourself back because you fear moving into the future or because you are afraid of getting hurt by a situation or it could be for no reason at all. Because if you look at the picture of this card, there's a fire behind this man. The Eight of Swords is the card that's below the word present. There's a fire behind him and he's kind of like caged himself in with all these swords. And he's wearing a blindfold. Now this person could easily put one foot in front of the other and just run. But this person's really stuck in his head. So it's about fear. Like I said, could be afraid of moving into the future, afraid of getting hurt. Or like I said, it could be for no reason at all. So you have to think through what it is you're afraid of. Because the truth of the situation is they're probably much less frightening than your mind is making it out to be. So coming up, Virgo, for the first week of August, Temperance and Eight of Swords. It looks like you're just trying to, you're, it looks like you're trying to find balance with this Temperance card here. You want a peace of mind. You might even be thinking about reconciliation or recon, yeah, maybe, maybe some type of reconciliation with someone that's possible but for the most part I'm thinking that you might just want balance in your life you may start to feel like you want to look at things that you feel guilty about any mistakes you've made in your past then try to forgive yourself and let it go because you probably realize it's really the only way you can truly make progress going forward so it's all about you coming up in the first week of August trying to find balance and peace of mind it looks like this heartbreak that you experienced might have really taken a toll on you but because it's with the eight of swords yeah you're you're still stuck in your head you're having a hard time maybe letting go of this the pain and the heartbreak that you experienced and you realize that you just want balance in your life now. You want things to come back into. You want things to come back to, to better, like it used to be. Maybe before you met this person, or before you were in this situation that caused heartbreak. We probably are just remembering how your life was so much more balanced. But for now. Coming up in the uh, 1st of August, it looks like you might still be stuck in your head about whatever caused heartbreak or whatever's going on in your life. And you're really trying to focus on peace of mind. And like I said, you might just try to reconcile with someone. You just might. That's what temperance is about also. So let's move on over and let's take a look and see what the challenge is going to be coming up for the first week of August. Wow, we got this Seven of Swords, and it's with the Hermit card. So the Seven of Swords, it can point to someone behaving with less than ethical intentions. It can sometimes mean prying in someone's life where you don't belong. If you sense that someone is spying on you, Virgo, you may be right. And if you are tempted to dig through someone else's life, unless it's that of your minor child, who has given you cause for concern, you just might want to resist the impulse because we know everyone deserves privacy. So, Seven of Swords is with the Hermit card. Hermit card can be a spiritual card. It could have something to do with institutions, large organizations, everything from a bank to an entire Christian church. But, for the most part, it's about being in the frame of mind that you need some time alone. So, don't be afraid to take it. Even if it's just a five minute walk around the house so that you can clear your head. This is also a card about trying really hard to do the right thing. But just make sure that doing the right thing includes doing what's right for you personally. And not just worrying about the wants and needs of others. 
So the challenge for you, Virgo. Seven of Swords and the Hermit card. It looks like you. It looks like you got someone that's that's watching you. Seven of Swords here. Seven of Swords is also about. It's about less than ethical behavior and tensions. Someone could be playing games with you, being strategic, manipulative, using tactics. So you may not uh, be trusting a person or a situation. And it looks like all, all the things that we talked about so far, it's making you just want to spend some time alone. Maybe it's that's this uh, hermit card. It does help. To, it's showing that it helps to. It helps to get rid of baggage, clear your mind, and that's that could be what you're trying to do. But you got someone that got their. They have their eyes on you. Somebody's watching you. It could be this. It could be someone new, maybe. But I'm picking up. It may be the person that you're dealing with. Um, they see that you're trying to bring balance back into your life. Yeah, it looks like. One of the ways that you do it is by spending time alone. Just to clear your mind and get rid of some baggage. But somebody's keeping tabs on you. Someone wants to know what you're doing all the time. Yeah. Now, if this isn't someone you know or if you feel like there's no one doing this, then you could be doing this to someone. Keeping tabs on someone watching or maybe stalking the person that caused the heartbreak just to see what they're up to but I'm picking up for the most most of you Virgos someone is keeping tabs on you there's someone spying stalking prying in on you they see that you're just trying to bring balance back into your life after you've been through so much difficult difficulties so that's a challenge now let's see what the outcome is we got the two of pentacles and the sun card now the two of pentacles it could be about two main issues at front in your mind you may need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things multitasking it is not your friend you may need to cut down on things that you're doing in order to focus on just two main priorities your financial situation may need to be more balanced but be sure you're paying attention there also Two of Pentacles is with the Sun card. Sun card is things are going really well. However, your finances, they should be in great shape with, when you get the Sun card. But this doesn't mean that you should lose focus on what's truly important. And for a lot of people, money, money is not high on the priority list. But I know for me it is. So I don't know about the rest of you, but that's what the Sun card says. It also says it's a good time to socialize, meet, meet new people, get out and about. Also, when you get the sun card, if you're looking for a new job, this card it signifies it's right around the corner. So, the outcome, basically, two of pinnacles and the sun card, it looks like, Virgo, you're going to take to doing a lot of things. Yeah, it looks like for the challenge, you, you clear your head, you spend time alone, it helps bring balance back into your life, and you start to juggle and do a lot of things. Because the Two of Pentacles is about multitasking. It's about several tasks, being back and forth. Uh, also, it could mean that uh, you were dealing with someone who was a two-timer. They had more than just you. So they had trouble finding time and energy for the connection. So I'm getting a couple of different storylines for the outcome. So, it could be you just really busy, or it could be you having dealt with someone that was a two-timer. And because it's with the sun card, the sun card here, you could be looking for just um, bright and happy days. Or you're all of a sudden, you're starting to feel like sunshine is finally coming back into your life. And you're just making busy, you're multitasking even though it says it's not your friend now but with the sun card it's saying that it's it's helping to bring sunshine back into your life after such a difficult recent past but just know that um with the seven of swords here 
someone could be using tactics or just maybe just watching you uh, your person might be trying to reach out to you again but you probably know that they're they're a two-timer or they're really not going to make time for the relationship so uh, i'm picking up that you focus on you i'm picking that up with this um uh, hermit card here and the temperance card here i'm, pick, I'm picking up that most of you virgos are just going to focus on bringing temp, bringing balance back into your life and what's going to happen is that it brings a lot of sunshine and happy days back into your life. So that's the reading that I have for you, Virgo. I hope this resonates. I hope you enjoy the reading. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading. Where I'll go over... I'm sorry, not the extended. I'll also put a link below for personal readings. If you'd like to try one of those. Or you can choose the extended version. So, Virgo, thank you so very much for watching. I hope that all of you are well and staying safe during this virus season. Just know that it will pass. Take care of yourself. Treat yourself well. And please come back and join me for the next Virgo reading. Just in case this reading did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. So, I hope you have a great day. I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. And I hope to see you at the next reading. Take care.